morning, folks. It's 10.28 a.m. on the third day, 12th month, 2022. I'm looking here at the weather plan unfolding a little bit more toward what I was expecting to see. Um, high totals coming through the trough. Uh, a further dousing of, of the Brisbane uh, Metroplex area. Can you imagine they just make one big city here all the way to here, you know, in the Metroplex as they make the super duper cities here for, for the super duped. Right, at Grafton, I'm uh, gonna feel fuel your own demise if it looks like coming up for the send you on the big the big ten send I mean, you're gonna get it. Seminal fluid, centimeters of it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I said that. And some of these dust water that's just sitting off here is a is a lot. Remember that's gonna blow in, in the wind. Blow in in the wind. In the wind. And we're showing some of the some of these totals that are showing for your entire country. Yeah, starting to look familiar, don't they? Does that look familiar to you? Would you say you're about to get a dousing again in the next 10 days? Did somebody fucking warn you this was coming and they kept changing the numbers and I stood my ground and they said your pressure say this had to fucking happen? Well, there it is. They're unfolding it on you again. This is a big dousing here for this. And there's the train lines they're running through here. Here's one they want through here. And there's all sorts of tram lines in between cities and... That some people are not for and some people are against, but I just know they're wanting them there and they're wanting it. They want you off this land. They just do. They give you trickles to your streams for days and days. It's never drying out, never drying out, and you get a whammo! Heavy, 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 heavy. And some say it's more than that. Some say it's less. I say that the totals uh, is not going to be that for one day. That's nice, actually, to see some, uh, some time off. Because you do get, you get about three days through here. You got some beautiful weather. You should take advantage of that time. Let your heart sing a little bit before uh, the next batch of uh, geofuckery continues. You know, on your fives, you, you're looking at that. The United States got far worse. It looks like the eminent flooding in Nashville, Tennessee and putting water down toward New Orleans. And then giving New Orleans a big storm within 14 days is very possible. So I'll be keeping a close eye on that as well. Huh? He's saying New Orleans? I just did. He's saying Nashville? I just did. You want to see it? Or should I just stay on topic? Oh, man, it's doing that on me again. Okay, let's go from here. Back to there. Oh, the wicked glitches, in. Hey, look, they changed the number again. See how quickly these things change? Right, where they go, hi. Hey, orange. You're in the orange. All that runs to double, don't it? Oh, the creek's going to you and to here. Hey, Kaura, you are eminently fucked. Galugang, fucked. Right, nothing for this. Nothing for five and a whammo. They're planning a big storm for you again. And I'm gonna, we're going to keep vigilant about this, aren't we? Yes, we will, Robert. Here's the United States. i got to show you this. This is bad. I'm going to do a zoop. i go accumulations. This. Watch this. Uh, quickest way to get there is just crust. Look at the sweat. They've got planned here all for Memphis and it's going down to Mississippi. And it's well setting up something here for the tents. Because look at the moisture in the Gulf. It's the perfect setup to uh, to rotate it. And I need to see the pressure on that day for here. So if you humor me just a moment, we'll make a call. Oh my God, look what's out here. Had that just visited? No. It spun out there on its own. That one that's going to smack Spain? Yeah. Curveball. Splits apart, one after the other. These are, these are European smashers. Yeah, all of those, one after the other. Meanwhile, a Lando cane comes across and yeah you're going to form something down here in the gulf there's no doubt in my mind there's your line of storms that's going to cause the sweat coming here on the 7th usa we'll be watching this it's extremely high pressure here for cold area forcing down that cold air oh, i've got a big dip in a jet yeah you do a bunch of dips believe in that excuse so we'll be uh we'll be watching this very closely looks like uh maine 
and into Canada. Absolutely getting clobbered. Absolutely clobbered. That's a slow-moving storm. That's parking over that area for a long while. It's going to dump a significant amount of rain. That tendril's just hanging there, hanging over Tennessee, hanging here in the mountains. There'll be flash flooding and dangerousness is up through there. Absolutely. At least I don't see the snowflakes. I swear to God, I've seen this set up for an ice storm. If they could bring that cold down far enough, there'll be an ice storm on the east coast of the United States. That'll screw some Christmas shopping. That'll make you use bezels. Really? Yeah, it looks like the west coast of the United States gets to cop it a bit with some snows and, and winds and stuff coming on uh, Thursday. The 8th. If that's 11 o'clock at night, my time, it's uh, afternoon, your time. Not good, not good for them at all, is it? Robert, you skipped right over Europe. Yeah, I know. I can't be everywhere at once. But I did say your conditions. Now, we're actually copping a bit of a break here. A bit of a break here in the UK, which I'm very happy to hear. You know, where I am anyhow. Some people are going to have the big wetnesses on and off the whole time. But a lot of us here in the middle are going to go, Oh, thank God. Cheers to blue fucking skies. And well, I don't know about you, but cheers to breasts. Because it looks like uh, they're getting wet. So wet. Italy. Arrivederci. Bye bye. Your blue skies that day. So I'm going to zip back down to as here. Oh, look at the tendril off of the coast of India. Not too good for them. But on the tens, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, perch of Thailand. <coughs> Indonesia. Oh my God. That's, 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 that's in the four or five hundred. When I see in the pinks here. Yeah, you know, this is not the good kind of pink as far as I'm concerned. No, no, it's not. It's just not. It's not like the pink of a, of a nice carnation flower. All right, it's going to do this on me. All right, I'll do that on them. Refreshing. La sala. That means uh, the living room in Spanish, isn't it? Yes. Esta Susana en casa. <laughs> Is Susan at home? Remember your lessons. Learn your languages. Imagine me going back to Turkey knowing full Turkish and not letting on. Oh, here's a volcano over here. It's been getting beamed. Then I'm going to show something. I'm going to talk about something real briefly, speaking of volcanoes. I'm going to zip over here on New Zealand. Right. There's this field of volcanoes out here, and there's a magma chamber underneath the mantle down here. Right? Down low. Uh, there have been loads of quakes right here in the center. Now, there's a lot of cinder cones as in uh, old volcanoes in this area, and they're filled with water. There's a lot of pressure on them holding down the top and swelling the, the craters and the calderas, applying pressure on the magma chamber. There's a volcano over here called White Island. If it don't start steaming soon, you're going to have big problems. This is what they say is coming, New Zealand. At New Plymouth, oh my God, you're near the forest. Some of these spots. Now, they ain't changing that shit on me. I've seen a stat that had you in the threes. Three hundreds. I, maybe I just misread that color, I hope. I ain't trusting their stats. They love to lie to us. When it comes to lying, that's a liar's world. It seems for our oppressors to rule us because they don't think they can tell us the truth because we can't handle it. So they've been so many years of conjuring of lies to get what... Uh, our oppressors want is on their menus of oppression and make sure that their profit margins stay good and we don't make too much so we get any power to help make any decisions because we can't afford the billion dollar lobbying, you know, to take the politician out for dinner and make donations to their little private little din din causes uh, to get their favors, if you will. And while that's a very unfavorable political situation, when I can predict in advance, hey, Agnes Water over the 10 days on here, racing towards you on these waters is another 10. But then on the fives, it's nothing. So you will, you can expect something coming, right? This is just using your head, looking at basic statistics, because between them all, they're going to tell you. So one of them can say, see, we're more valuable. No, we are. No, we are. You know who's most valuable of all? Of all of us. The most valuable is right here, and it's my favorite screen to see when it's not all clouded up. Is here. 
This is, this is all that matters to me. This is all of us. This is every one of you. This is me giving a shit. It's a little bit missing here, I'd say. Off the coast of Australia that day. This is you today. This is now what you went through. This will be 90 minutes a satellite went by. And 90 minutes later it went here. It is Donald Duck. Ken Bam over here is Grand F. That's disgusting. In an arc formation. If something is obviously deploying. And if you don't think it's obvious, then I look up the definition of obvious. Uh, Alexa, what is the definition of obvious? The adjective obvious is usually defined as easily seen, recognized, or... Easily seen or recognized. That should be good enough. It could have... Oh, gosh. Am I running? Have I gone too far already? No. Good. We will go further. So I love to see the map looking like that. I love seeing it like this. You know, just some scattered moisture about. I don't love seeing them make an EMF cut. They fried the hell out of shit. And it was bad. And bringing it all into an EMF corridor. To inundate and douse an area that's had more rain than they've had in years. All at once. Yeah, spread this stat out amongst other droughts. And you'll find you never had a dry year. Uh, the stats on this is not being accurately kept, I don't think, either. Because the backyard totals ain't matching what the BOM is saying. Okay? So, right. Are they beaming you, you ask? Um, somebody showed me a uh, beaming over here, kept his flat cam bearer. And he wanted information on this station. And I'm going to easily show you how to find out uh, information on radars. All right, you click the radar symbol down there. All right, you see these things here? Uh, locations, right? So, I, I, she wanted Canberra. Should I hit Vic? Or well, here's the name of all your stations, right? When you click on, let's say, Barnsdale, it tells you what type of station it is, what is in it, supposedly. You have to believe this part. And it's notes about its uh, predictable areas uh, where the coverage ain't accurate. And someone that tells you it's perfect coverage, you shouldn't have a glitch. And a glitch don't happen every day. So, this is where you'll find that. And you'll find the coordinates for where they're at and what the radar page is and what it looks like. When it, why it's even there, I don't know. Because they don't show you nothing on it. It's all just smoke and mirrors to say, yes, we have a weather program. No, it is not accurate, you cannot say. And if it's not accurate, it's a bad program, right? Would you put that basketball team out to represent you in the Olympics with the track record like the BOM? You would if you was betting on the other team. And sometimes I think this is betting on the other team, the team that wants to take over the world. And I do think there's an element out there that wants to do that. And that's okay for me to think that. The sad part is that I think like that, that the world has lied to me enough and told me enough bullshit uh, to, uh, to understand that uh, we are lied to. And as I clicked on that rainbow one right here, there's a pulse going on, right? Pulsations. I'll, go, I'll zoom out to the 512 composite, and you'll see. They're blasting you. You are being fried. Weather manipulation is going on. Okay? So I hope that helps you a little bit. And you can see here, uh, whether it's got the dipole, C dipoles, you will then go look these things up. You will cut and paste. What is that? And you will ask, what is the Meteor 735C radar? Right? You will do these things. And how I would do that is I go over to the Google issues over here, the, the one that loves to hide and direct your information for how it wants. Uh, what would I want? Sales brochure. No, specification. Yeah, let's go to the sales brochure. You might be surprised what you find. Uh, weather radar by Leonardo Electronics.com. So here's the PDF or some things that you're fucking just spy on me some more. Uh, here's one of the radars, and it talks about it. Download the, the reading. Let's have it. Have it, have it, have it. Ah, oh, man, it's a data sheet. There it is. Aha. Boom, let's have it. This is how I get information. Okay. This is how we do it, baby. Do, 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 do. You don't talk too much about them. When you through these keywords and stuff, you'll lie. You'll get other information. Simultaneous dual polarization capable available with both systems with minimal loss of sensitivity due to increased transmitter peak power. Peak power! Where's the big old golf club when you need one? That's... Here's more technical information on it. 
right? Its modes, its antenna types, its reflector diameters, its minimum gains, its maximum gains, its transmitter. 250 kilowatts. 400 kilowatts. That'd be a hell of an electric bill, huh? And the software they're using is a... We need to find out who makes these. The software itself. Off-the-shelf PC. What could possibly go right? Say anybody could backdoor this shit. They're using just Windows. Hey, then one day, it's possible you could have backdoor to these computer controlled in your weather. That makes it possible. Optional groups. So these people make it, man. And this is where they are. Germany. Yeah, Leonardo. There's that name. There's that name. And they painted it all pretty colors so you make it look all friendly for you. But at the end of the day, I just see another microwave, big fry daddy located with the houses in the background. Yeah, not cool, not cool. Let's just stick this sucker up on a tower there. Yeah, I wonder what other cool stuff we can come up with about the Meteor. Product catalogs. Product catalogs. What do we got here? What other things do we make here? What are the friables? The airborne receiver, full air traffic, situational awareness, and particulate tracking, multifunction, state of the art electronic fuse. Oh, there's a big fuse for you. Hey, you want some air defense? They make a, that's a big fryer. These people make some fryers, man. This is the Fry Corporation. And here's a link. Say, if you want to have a good look through the product catalog of uh, the things that might just not go possibly correct for you. Because, you know, this is all done militarily. I keep saying that. And this is kind of just shows you. If you dive into your radars, you never know what you're going to find. Gee, is that, it? is that part of my work considered valuable to you? <laughs> uh, we develop training solutions able to execute complex synthetic distributed air operation customers can benefit from an immersive robust safe environment operating in real time the solution can be used for trading as well as for testing and experimentation at strategic level experiments experiments see what i mean hey, is that a drone is that a drone they can put something up in the air with is that a drone pay-per-use services here what is Robert found? Relieving our customers from any not operational concern. What the hell is that? Any supply today? All the dronages here. Look at that, eh? That screens and all looking like radars and stuff. Man, this is the guilt. We're going to see more. I'm sorry. I'm changing over a minute. I got to see something. Radio toad, aerial toad, radio frequency decoys. Download the brochure. What do we got here? Oh, this is something you can hold behind a plane. There's a radio transmitter on it. Hey, look at this. Something on the end with something coming behind it that you could do stuff with. A mobile blister. Did it, did it, did it, did it, Robert U. Wesley Webbitt. I told you, I'm in a mode sometimes. You never know. Electronic warfare, combat proven technology. You can't tell me they can't use one of these. That, that can't be a mobile boosting device because it says what it does. Programmability, shove it up the ass end of something. He's been pegged. Fully programmable. No, he could just do something. Being you know, Somebody out there thinking he's doing his training. And that thing's programmed to, to come by me or something. You never know what these things can do. Well, isn't that special? Yeah, I'm glad I'm going to take that on board. Boom. Hit that brochure. You never know when you're going to need something. Just never know. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, what else we got going on here? The Black Scorpion. Here we go. Here's a radar. And these are the things they've got. I got your attention yet? Launch torpedoes and all sorts of shit. Hi there. Let's have that. Bzzzt. 
Passive radar system is identified. Detection tracking capability for defense and homeland security operations. Yeah. They look familiar to anybody. <laughs> Fixed features, deployment configurations. It's got it all here. Low cost. Hey, it's going to save you money if you kill people with it. And you won't have to spend money on them either. They've took it all into account. There's your technical specifications. In case you, you know, geeks like me out there. A 360 degree azimuth cover. Okay? That thing can do a, do a sweep. I mean, even up above his head, he could do it. Hey, there's a nice barcode. Yeah, in case you want to know, here's, here's a phone number you could call about this stuff and say, Is it possible I could use this for blah, blah? Okay? Do your homework. That's about enough of that. You go in here and you do that. You do that while I do this. Getting fried, getting fried. Straya style. Boom! All right, let's have a view of the, of the sets. I like seeing when it's clear like this. This is a, a wonderful day to report weather. Other than the fact is you're being fried like bugs, sprayed like bugs, and treated like fucking cockroaches. And he wants you to drink the milk. Cockroach milk, cockroach milk. Make a whole new different joke on the meat the fuckers. What is it? The milk and the cat. You know, you just get your fingers down there and milk the cockroach. Or do they just put it in your mouth and spit in a cup? And they're sucking cockroaches off and spitting it out. Have it. Would you like some cockroach juice? You ever try to get a kid to eat his vegetables? You think you're going to get them to eat bugs maybe other than on one occasion? And when they start getting eaten by more mosquitoes and one joke says, Yeah, that's why you're getting eaten by them because they're, they're, they're not happy with you eating the bugs. Oh, look at the bombs. Look at the bombs. Do you see them yet? Can you recognize this yet? This crazy deployment sh shooting here, shooting there, shooting on everywhere. Look at this. This wildness. That's camp bombs. Down on the low deck, streamer, and by this way and that way. You still don't know what to do because it's all previous program for experimentation. I showed you those words. Don't tell me this can't go on. Don't tell me it's not a, not just a patent, but it's been deployed and it's being marketed. Look for the brochures. Come on, people, get smart. Damn it, did Robert just take her pants down? Yes, he fucking did. I showed the whole world your red rosy ass. And the stains they're on. As you put these stains over my ocean, my barrier reef, mine. They're ruining it. Literally and figuratively. The Nazified skies have come. The plume of Nazis have flown over here and ain't fucking done a number on you today. A fucking number. Right, let's roll that footage. You guys are all waiting on. Watch forecast, here it comes. I'll have a sip. No inclusion, New Zealand. I'll have a sip of my uh, water over here. If you find my work of value, you may support it at payplme forward slash Robert Deutsch or contact me. I have some jewelry for sale. You can look for those videos and I'm uh, you should be able to comment on my live videos. Some people were getting really stupid on them, so I had turned a lot of them off. I don't deserve abuse for just doing this. I could just do it quietly, and yeah, you guys just share it and do whatever. It ain't about getting famous. I damn sure got a following now that I didn't, didn't understand I'd have. So if you don't like my swearing and stuff, I don't do it to take it personal. It's just me. I'm not all that happy with it either sometimes. It just comes out. As we working it into Monday and Aunt Lowe's just still parking here. Told you she's going to spit one off and she's just going to sit. Why? Because they can make another one at any time. Keep pumping that moisture in toward the coast. And when they're ready, they hit it with the boost and it's starting there. Boom, 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 boom. So we'll be watching for the EMF move coming here on Monday the 5th. It'll be more toward Tuesday the 6th, your time, to begin cutting that moisture up and moving it up. And then here comes the cold hitting the, to meet the warm and you're going to get that. Yeah, around that number, I don't know, I've lost track of what storm number it is. It was, it, it's been a, nearly a, a ten and a half, ten months solid of this. Or every bit of a nine and a half months of solid, one after the other, of these storms. 
He has these two double dancer lulls. Very unusual to be next to each other. However, when we're sitting two or three of them at the same time, if I put the pressure on, I might find they're only dancing a couple ticks apart. Yeah, that's how they keep them sustained. That's not very far apart in number. But yet both of them are roaring storm. This is impossible other than by geoengineering. And as this high surrounds the bottom of your country, and it's just fucks on off, right on off, there's nowhere else for your storms to go but here, and then the fuckery begins, and you get a big dousing. Like I said you were going to get. And I stuck with my guns. And they did not back down. And I was right. Here it come. I write them all down. Everybody's watching my every days and writing them down. And I'm glad you are. Cause I, I don't even keep track of it myself. Because I, I roll with the punches of the camp. You know. I'll go over here and read this shit. I see where the corridor's been left open. I see where the fryer has been in. I can look here and see where your line of your storms. Is almost starting to match this. It's almost starting to match this. Where was it coming through on it? Was it the seventh halfway through your day? Or the eighth? You know, as you start looking at the storm lines here, and you start looking at these chem lines, and the EMF line, they're matching. It's not hard to figure it out. That they're planning something. They're getting the moisture back in the air again. They're making sure nothing dries out. They're making sure your streams stay just with enough water in them so they haven't totally gone down uh, you may exceed some of these uh flood totals that you have on these high poles out in some places that i've been seeing i heard 1972s went underwater uh the other day so uh, watch this space 1958 is not around far around the corner because everything's set up the thought everything's swollen everything is near to burst you burst a fucking damn now you're fucked the swelling of levees it's only meant to happen so many times in a season. And they have to have drying out in between. I ain't seen the drying out in between. And I've seen some loads on the size of some of these dams that they're only supposed to take once every 100 years, 50 years. or But they're having them five times in a year. I'm sorry, things ain't meant to flex that at many times. You take a piece of plastic, flex it in your hand a whole bunch of time, it gets that foggy spot on it, a weakness. Well, there'll be weaknesses forming, especially in where they anchor in the sights. From them bowing. Some of them are designed to curl. And then straighten up. Some of them bow more out. Will they take many more of these in and outs. Before uh, fatigue. Of uh, actual structural fatigue. Sets in on these uh, structures. You know. Very very concerned. Because some of these are just pinpoint. And some of these are straight lines. That they're saying the accumulations are going. And last time they did up between Tennant Creek and Mount Isa, it occurred along those lines. Well, you could very accurately tell me there'll be a straight line of storms through blah, blah. You know, starting things off. Was it Access that had it? Somebody had a straight lane. Might have been over Europe. Hang on, give me, give me a day here. Just straight lanes. Like, you're, you're only here. How can you tell me that? Unless you got glitch, 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 glitch. And there's nowhere else for it to go. Right? Those those beams. You're telling me about beaming. Is what you do. Who was that? There. Right here. Uh, the access on the fight. So you have a straight line through here. Isn't it? There's an actual railroad line wanted through here. The Adelaide line. That washes out the tracks. That washes out the undersides. That the, all the stuff that holds them up. Uh, you will the ballast and all this and these things come down and it's very dangerous well then you have to fix them well the solution's already tabled schwab's already got all the money maybe he'll he'll croak and leave it all it has to only be used uh for this or you don't get it well you know somebody could leave all the money in the world but if it makes you have to worship the devil it ain't fucking worth it who knows what's coming when you could tell me there's going to be a straight line storm right off of here and then it happens later I'm upset and impressed at the same time. I mean, I'm impressed by the science and depressed almost how it bars terrible usage as they predict the entire inundation again of an almost two, two-thirds of a nation if you put all the spaces together. And that's all I got to say for today. I can't handle it anymore. Big love, peace.